What's up, y'all? Your boy, the Anim Two Coolies. I can geek. Welcome to my channel. This is for the third part of the Elseworlds. I know I did reactions for the first two parts, but I don't have time to do put on reaction video for this one. So I'm gonna do this review slash reaction as I'm watching the episode. I'll keep recording my reactions to a certain moment that happens. You'll see how it it will concur. You <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I just don't have the time to fully react and edit, but I have time to watch it, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, I'm just going to dive right into the episode and tell you my thoughts in this one video. Yeah. Shit, so Deegan turned himself into Superman? Can't blame him on that shit. I would do the same thing, just that I wouldn't be evil, Superman, even though the suit is fucking awesome. <laughs> Joke, I'm so mesmerized by how awesome the suit looks. <laughs> you look so good in the suit, yo. Oh my god. Yo. Yo, well done. Well done. The story is cool too, but damn. The suit. Reason the crossover. <laughs> oh man. They, they don't give us the legends, but they give us Gary. <laughs> The dumb thing to talk about about Superman and Lois are legit having like a bra sesh <laughs> in the fortress. It just murdered me. And that whole Kara, like thinking Cisco's Kara moment. It's a good episode. Oh, the Superman for Superman fight was so legit. I love how this crossover is low key paying homage to Snyder. <laughs> Man of still BBS moments. We see you. Oh, that shit was so lit. I'm watching that shit again. Changing back was so awesome. <laughs> so legit. Oh man. Oh man. I was pregnant, Superman leaving, Brainiac. It was cool as fuck, fighting amazing. And his enthusiasm was legit. Well, Oliver made some deal. I'm still watching it. Like a lot has happened. I start paying so much attention. Oh man, I should just give Clark his own show and stop. Being around the bush and making him come two episodes and make him leave again. <laughs> like, damn. Uh, why are you showing us so much Clark and Lois and making us fall in love with them, but then they're gonna take them away? <laughs> Fuck y'all, man. <laughs> it's an amazing episode, though. They propo he proposed, he just said Lois, she was like kissing him, then like stuff. Man, now bury all the way at the bar. She bring back bad woman then tease crisis of infinite earths in one go what <laughs> what that was amazing yo Oliver made some deal that's gonna get him shit again with Felicity and everybody else why they keep making Oliver make these deals I think this deal you know like crisis how Supergirl's death made that Situation so real. Supergirl and Flash is there. Made it so real. And here, Superman and Flash survive. Is Green Arrow's death gonna be the thing that brings people together? Fuck, there's so many DC shows I can think about they can infuse into the shit. <laughs> what if they bring maybe like the Birds of Prey people? I like they bring Batman finally in this bitch. Titans, yo. Ooh, if they brought the Titans, it would be so dark. Oh, shit. Yo. <laughs> they got Constantine, they got the Legends, they got the Smallville people they can dive into. What else? They got Lucifer, they got the Preacher. I'm, I'm starting to name like every DC show known to mankind. That was phenomenal. I legit give this crossover. An 8 out of 10, it was phenomenal, there was some moments where I was like, oh this is too cheesy, they making this too funny, but when it got serious, it got serious, when they got to business, they got to business, so I'm excited to see what happens next year in Christ of 